morning to all today we are going to dealing with the equations of groundwater flow so before going to the equation of groundwater flow let us consider what you mean by the homogeneity heterogeneity and isotropy and anisotropy of an aquifer so heterogeneity or homogeneity of aquifer is mainly depending on the position of the uh, particular aquifer parameters such as the hydraulic conductivity if this aquifer parameters such as the hydraulic conductivity if it is changed with respect to the position then the particular aquifer is considered as the heterogeneous and if the position of uh, if the parameters such as the hydraulic conductivity if it will not change with respect to the position it is uh, that particular aquifer is considered as the homogeneous aquifer and in the case of uh, anisotropic or isotropic aquifer isotropic means if you take any aquifer properties that particular aquifer properties uh, will not change with respect to the uh, direction in the case of isotropic aquifer and in the case of anisotropic aquifer the uh, parameters such as the hydraulic conductivity that will change with respect to the uh, positions such as uh, or with respect to the uh, directions such as the x y and z respectively so we are starting with the equations equations of groundwater flow so based upon the homogeneity heterogeneity as well as isotropy and anisotropy there may be four type of flow conditions such as there may be isotropic and homogeneous flow uh, equations are there and isotropic and aniso uh, isotropic and heterogeneous flow equations are there as well as anisotropic uh, homogeneous flow equations are there as well as anisotropic and uh, heterogeneous flow equations are there so here we are considering the aquifer as an anisotropic as well as a heterogeneous hence the flow equation will be so before we are going into the uh, equation of particular groundwater flow let us consider an aquifer uh, with a controlled volume which means uh, the volume will be controlled or specified and we are considering an anisotropic aquifer so uh, this is an anisotropic aquifer and the x y and z that is x comma y and z are the principal direction of principal direction of an isotropy and delta and delta x comma delta y and delta z represents the change in length in the direction x comma y and z respectively and the q the qx and qy and qz which uh, represents qx qy and qz represent the 
flow per unit cross sectional area flow per unit cross sectional area so this x y and z are the principal directions of anisotropy and delta y delta z and delta x uh, represent the change in length with respect to the x and y z axis x y and z axis and qx qy and qz uh, represents the uh, flow per unit or discharge per unit cross sectional area so let us move to the uh, flow equation or let us move to the derivation of particular flow equation so first of all we have to consider the area of a, uh, area perpendicular to the x y and z direction so the area which are perpendicular to x axis is so the area perpendicular to the x principal direction will be area of this particular plane so which is equal to delta y into delta z and the area perpendicular to the y axis the area perpendicular to the y axis will be the area of this side so we will get the area perpendicular to y axis is equal to delta x into delta z and the area perpendicular to z axis is delta x into delta y respectively so next we have to consider the mass inflow uh, into this particular aquifer so in order to consider the mass inflow the following equa equations can be written that is the mass inflow in x direction is equal to rho w into qx into delta y into delta z in which the rho w is the density and qx is the flow rate or discharge and delta y into delta z represents the area. <laughs> 